In this video, you're going to learn about 10 car modifications that are banned in the state of California. California is one of the most restrictive states when it comes to car modification and emission laws. As California drivers, it is very important for us to know what exactly is legal and what is not legal. Luckily for you, you clicked on this video. I'm Jeff for Modern Muscle, and today you're going to learn about 10 car modifications that are banned in the state of California. First, let's talk about sounds and noise. California muffler laws include the following. Vehicles, except for motorcycles with gross vehicle weights less than 6,000 pounds, must produce sound that is 95 decibels or less. Up next, we have window tint. Non-reflective tint is allowed on the top four inches of the front of the windshield. Front side windows must allow over 70% of the light through. Rear window and back side windows can have any tint darkness. Up next, let's talk about frames and suspensions. Body lifts can be no more than 5 inches. Vehicles cannot exceed 14 feet in height. Alright guys, it's time to get into the nitty gritty and let's get into what you really came here for performance modifications, and California's laws that restrict them. First, let's talk about air cleaners. A replacement air cleaner must meet the same specifications as the original and connect to any emissions equipment that is attached to the original equipment. Any cleaner that does not meet the original factory specifications requires an executive order to be legal for street use. Up next, we have cams and carburetors. Both replacement cams and carburetors must have exactly the same specifications as the original part. Cams and carburetors that have different specifications require an executive order to be legal for street use. Up next, we have catalytic converters. Manufacturers of aftermarket catalytic converters must obtain an executive order for their products from the Air Resources Board. For coils and ignitions, any type of coil or ignition wires may be used as long as they meet the original manufacturer specifications. Aftermarket computer chips must have an executive order to be legal for street use. Any electronic ignition or electronic point replacement units for vehicles not originally equipped with these items will require an executive order to be legal for street use. Swapping electronic ignitions from different years, engines, or makes is illegal in California. Up next, we have distributors. Swapping distributors from different years, engines, or makes is illegal in California. Aftermarket distributors that are not listed as replacements for the original part require an executive number to be legal for street use. For fuel injection systems not listed as replacement parts require an executive order to be legal. Modifications that change a vehicle from fuel injection to carburation or from carburation to fuel injection also require an executive order to be legal. Up next we have fuel tanks. Replacement fuel tanks must be identical to the original part. Add-on fuel tanks or tanks with greater capacity than the original tank are legal for street use only if they've been issued an executive order. Next let's talk about engine heads. Replacement heads must be identical to the original part. Head swaps from different years, engines, or makes are illegal in California. Aftermarket heads or valve train components not made to the same specifications as the original parts require an executive order to be legal for street use in California. Next, let's talk about headers. California regulates its headers in two parts or two categories. The first category is going to be vehicles that naturally come without catalytic converters. The second part is vehicles that come naturally equipped with catalytic converters. First, let's talk about non-catalytic converter equipped vehicles. Headers for this vehicle are considered a legal replacement part as long as the replacement header allows for the installation of all small control equipment naturally attached to the stock exhaust manifold. For catalytic converter equipped vehicles, headers will require an executive order to be legal for street use. Next, let's talk about intake manifolds. Intake manifolds are legal in California if they are the same as the original manufactured part. Any manifold not listed as a replacement part by its manufacturer must have an executive order to be legal for street use in California. Carburetor adapter plates are not legal in California unless they are an integral part of the replacement manifold. 
Let's talk about internal engine parts. Replacement internal engine parts, such as pistons, rods, or the crank, must be designed to factory specifications. Oversized parts can be used as long as they are within the factory tolerance for replacement engine parts. Any part not built within the factory specifications requires an executive order to be legal for street use in California. Transmission or transaxle transmission changes alone are not legal. Up next, let's talk about replacement engines. Entire engines can be seen as replacement parts in California, but as with any other replacement part, the engine must be identical to the original. If the replacement block or engine is obtained without emissions equipment, all equipment from the original engine must be installed on the replacement block. If the engine is not identical to the original, then it is not a replacement part. Instead, it is considered an engine change. Engine changes are a modification that must meet certain requirements to be legal. Engine changes are legal in California as long as they meet the following requirements to ensure that the change does not increase the pollution from the vehicle. The engine must be the same year or newer than the vehicle. The engine also must come from the same type of vehicle, based on the gross vehicle weight. If the vehicle is a California certified vehicle, then the engine must also be a California certified engine. All emissions control equipment must remain on the installed engine. Well guys, these are the car modifications that are banned in California. Let me know if any of you guys are from California and let me know if you have any of these modifications. Leave it in the comment section, tell me what you have and if you've actually gotten trouble from the cops with any of these modifications. Also, if you guys like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you like what you see at the channel, subscribe. Thanks again, guys. I hope to see you soon. Until next time.